and we're live. Hey, Nosy Neighbors fans, it's Jessica Carden. And Chad Murdoch. With Murdoch Man Marine Company Real Estate Group here in East Idaho and the Nosy Neighbors. The Nosy Neighbors. That's right. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, we are downtown, as we love to be. And we are excited today because I didn't, I don't know anything about this. Yeah. Like, I don't know the, I. I've had it. It's you've delicious. had it. I, this is all new for it's me. It's a cultural experience. And it the is. cool thing with Idaho Falls is it's growing. Yeah. And the more we grow, the more cool things, cool things come that to are town. able to come into town. This is one of those this that is, you won't try unless you come here. Yes. I and mean, you aren't going to just show up to someone's house and get what they have here. That's right. But people go crazy over this food. It's, this is exciting. This is exciting because I, I am not a, I, I, I'm well traveled. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I'm not real into the, I don't have a lot of experience with uh, international cuisine beyond kind of traditional stuff. I'm not real adventurous. But we are today at Hot Springs Pho, 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 And I'm probably pho. saying it wrong. We're saying probably saying it wrong. Pho. And so this is a Vietnamese, Vietnamese, oh, by the way, Vietnamese soup. Soup, soup. Yeah, it's a meal. Soup? It's a meal? hearty meal with noodles and... And it's a bone broth a, base. But, yeah. Well, we're going to yeah, find gonna all find about yeah. because that's the question is like, what is the, what is fun? I mean, people go crazy for tacos. People go crazy for steak and barbecue. There's a group, people go crazy over pho. Uh, over pho. Yeah, Vietnamese dish. So we are, so we are here. <clears throat> I'm excited. By the way, please take a moment, share this video. I just shared it. Just share it, share it out. We would love, of course, to get more exposure for all our local businesses mm -hmm. and get more people to find out about these amazing, cool places that we have here in Idaho Falls. And like and follow and go back and see the old cool things that we have. Yep. We have amazing people oh, in yeah. Idaho Falls. Yeah, and if there's a place that you, we haven't hit yeah. that we should, let us know. That'd be great. Let's say where we are. <clears throat> where, are we at? where are we? So we're downtown. Downtown. U.S. Bank building. That's right. We got Krung Thep next door. That's right. Uh, we're, we are on Shoop yep. and almost A Street. Yep. So right here across from Treasures, um, across from the Shane Building. For the old, old timers, this is where Ada's Cafe used to be. Uh-huh. And bef after that was Ming's Chinese place. There you go. So, it's been which around. It's an interesting story on how this was acquired oh. from Ming's that we can find out. Oh, very yeah. cool. So let's get started. By the way, if you love real estate like we do. Yep. Head over to the Murdoch Man Marine Company page. We just put our stats video out. The market, everyone's so curious about it. So all the stats are Always there. Always changing, yeah. Always changing. Very, yep. very cool. So, all right. Thanks, you guys. Let's go in and take Let's a look at Hot Springs Pho. Hot Springs Pho. Hello. Well, hello. So uh, we're the nosy neighbors. Want to know if we can ask some questions about Hot Spring? Of course. Fa, what would fo, you like to know? Fa, fa. All right, tell us how to say it. Fa. Just fa. fa. Just fa. It sounds like a halfway, halfway dirty word, but that's yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Stop just uh, just before your mom gets exactly. mad. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. So tell us, tell us who you are. Uh, I'm Jeff. Um, what do you want to know? What yeah. do you want to know? That's awesome. <laughs> so, so you're the owner. Yes, I'm the owner Fantastic. here. Fantastic. We started, uh, we, we actually opened uh, for two and a half years now. So uh, we're still new to a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the local people here. Yeah. yeah, we still get time and time that people are still come in here and say, oh, we never knew about this place. So yeah, yeah we still know. There's still a lot yeah. of people that don't know about it. So yeah. we're hoping to change yeah. that. So. Okay. So tell us what is Hot Springs Pho? What it, what is Pho, what is, uh, tell us about your okay, restaurant. Okay, pho, pho is a very, very popular uh, soup uh, in Vietnam. So it's, it's, it's probably well known now everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I came, um, you know, uh, basically, okay, pho is basically, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, beef bone soup base. Okay, so you cook the, the bones for... So beef bones, it's so a, beef a rich bone. broth. Yep, very yeah. rich broth. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so you put all those uh, other, uh, you know, uh, like ingredients, uh, ingredients that, yeah. that make the pho. Uh -huh. So you got like cinnamon, uh, anise, uh, other that uh -huh. kind of stuff. So that make the broth. Is is there different pho or is it a standard recipe? You're gonna get the same, when you order pho, you get this, or is it very? Uh, no, actually it is with this here ingredient, uh -huh. uh, but different people have different, way of cooking the broth mm -hmm. or yeah. 
how much of this to put in and it's, you know you got to balance it out to yeah. make it right gotcha so yeah. what kind of things are in the pho so you've got the bone broth yeah what else goes in there besides the spices um, what does somebody expect to get in there Oh, okay. And then uh, basically it's the broth is the main thing uh -huh. and the noodle. Uh -huh. And so, uh, and then you also get the different kind of meat that goes into the, the pho. So we got like a different kind of meat, like tribe. Uh, we're trying to get, you know, the get people, local here. Get people to, get to try it out. Yeah, but not, we, we don't sell too much of that. So we stop that. Uh -huh. Okay, a few people, you know, that normally eat pho, they know that. So they... They requested that, mm -hmm. but uh, mainly we have rare steak, so uh, it's top round. Basically, mm -hmm. that's rare from the kitchen. Okay. So uh, traditionally, why we call it rare? Because uh, uh, Vietnamese sometimes we eat rare. You put the rare steak on the side. Okay. And so as you eat, you basically dip the rare uh, oh. steak into. It, it cut very thin slices. Uh -huh. Yeah. And we we put them in uh, the broth to a level where you want. And then so you, it cooks you, it. So it cooks it. So you it. cook it. Exactly. Okay, got it. At, the, at the table. At the table. But here, uh, basically, we just put rare steak on top. We pour the broth in, and it cooks. Yeah. And it's very, wow. yeah. So, and we also have tendons. Um, uh, <clears throat> what, what else we have? Brisket, meatballs. Wow. Huh? Flank. And flank cut. Oh. Nice. Yeah. How so do you those, choose which one to do? Do you do you have to pick, or do you guys just offer whatever is no? On it's today? different combination that the, ah, what they want. So pe some people they like rare steak only. Yep, we have that. Some people like the rare steak and meatball. We uh -huh. have that. You know, it's huh? different combination. Whatever the meat that they like, the the one that uh, that has pretty much everything is the. Uh, Hot spring bowl or hot spring pho, which is the the special bowl. Yeah, I have all everything. everything. All yeah. the meats. Ooh, yeah. that sounds like something. So yeah. if you like a beef rich bone broth, yeah. and yes. you like noodles, a, and yeah. you like thin sliced. Sorry about that. We had a technical glitch, ah. but we're back in. Okay. All right. So we were saying the rice noodles. So yeah. they're not flour noodles. They're rice noodles. Rice noodle. They're gluten free, by the way. By chance, ah. we not intend yeah. to do gluten That's free. Just how it is. But most of our food actually gluten free. Yeah. Because oh, we have wow. a lot of people. A lot of people came in and, and ask about that. And that's why we have to research and we find out that, oh man, yeah, the fun noodle place. is gluten free. Wow. Yeah. The vermicelli that we have is gluten free. Rice is gluten free. So yeah. there we huh? go. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> She's excited. Yeah. That's oh, it. Yeah. I try to be as gluten free as I can. And no Tom kidding. is very gluten free. Yes. Oh, so that's okay. really exciting. So tell us your hours. And so if they're coming down to do it, when, when, when can they come in? Okay, well, we open from 11 to, um, well, winter hours, probably about 8, 8.30. Is that? 8.30. 8 we shut down our kitchen. Gotcha. So, you know, you can't, we, for fun, sometimes uh, you want to come in about no later than that. Uh -huh. I mean, fun, you can come in a little bit later, but yeah. as far for grill and stuff like that, yeah. you want to come in a little bit early. Earlier, yeah. So let's yeah. talk about everything that you've got in the yeah. menu. I want to make sure my ringer sure. off. Tell us what we've got on the menu. Okay. So what else do you have? Because I think we've got pho. So basically, if, um, here, I'll pass the menu oh. here. Mm -hmm. um, so appetizer is uh, pretty much is right there. Oh, so, so you got spring rolls. That's the one that's fresh. Uh, oh. Rice paper. So it's tell not, us about that. So it's not a fried... It's not fried. Not a fried, a fried one. Spring, an egg roll is fried, but yep. a spring roll is not. Correct. So tell Correct. us how that works. Okay, so basically whatever, uh, when they order, we, we freshly made right there for the customer. So basically it's rice paper. You kind of like dampen it with uh, water. So it's... Uh, very soft so uh -huh. you put vegetable and it comes with um, uh, shrimp okay uh -huh. and also uh, pork loin very tender okay so you roll them you know and yeah. then you dip with the housemate sauce uh -huh. the sauce mm -hmm. that make it good it's are not they, the, are all they the other free? one is they are <laughs> yeah the, the spring roll are gluten free oh. yeah uh -huh. so it's not going to be a deep fried egg roll it's no. a true the egg roll probably have uh, gluten, gluten in, in there it with yeah. the paper or whatever it exactly. is exactly right? that, oh. that roll right there does have uh, gluten i think interesting not, yeah but as far for our spring roll it's gluten free yeah i love that one mm -hmm. thing i see on this menu that our family loves and that we 
if we're in a different city, we will drive across a town to go find this, uh -huh. and that's boba. Yeah. Boba tea. Yeah. So, so what? We, what is boba tea? Boba tea is basically it's you got the boba, which is a tea flavor tapioca, uh -huh. little ball, uh -huh. black little ball, and then it's basically a smoothie. Uh, with tea flavor, like you can have like strawberry tea flavor, or you can have it just smoothie without tea. Some people like the tea flavor, uh -huh. some don't. So yeah, I'm not a big tea flavor yeah. gal. And so you add that uh, with the tapioca ball uh -huh. within the smoothie. So ah. it's kind of it's almost like a snack too. Ah. You, you get oh, the, yeah. it's the, a total the, treat. Yeah. yeah. Is it like a pudding? Mm. Like I think of it's tapioca. It's very chewy. No, it's the oh. yeah, it's just Texture. little balls that are chewy. So you have a smoothie with chewy balls in it. Exactly, yeah. right. And I love the taro, the winter melon, kind of the brown sugar type. Yep. Those are the ones that I love. Uh -huh. My wife is more into the fruity kind. So if it's pineapple or yeah. or coconut or mixing And so if we up. look at this, so you guys have green tea, taro, lychee, what is lychee? Lychee is lychee. a tropical, uh, tropical fruit. Oh. So it's uh, almost like longan. You know what that? No. Yeah, no. I know what it is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's red, uh, like almost like, you know, it had like a seed inside, the black seed inside. Oh. On the outside, there's a layer of uh, of meat that's, mm -hmm. oh. yeah. And that's kinda, what it's, uh, yeah. yeah that's the, Interesting. That's the oh, Flavorful, that's awesome. it's, it smells pretty good. Huh, so you can Taro get... would be the one I would order here. Yeah. Delicious. Why do you like taro? It's a root, and it's just yeah. delicious. Like a taro root. Yeah, yeah. it's a taro, taro root. root. Yeah. Huh? Yep. And it is refreshing. It's delicious. Wow. Yeah. Very, so popular many cool yeah. So yeah. Very popular cool flavor. Yeah. So many Very popular flavor. And to my knowledge, you are the only place in Idaho Falls that does boba. Like, there is no place in boba that I'm aware of. So. Yeah. Wow. I think we're the only one. Wow. Yeah. And because we don't advertise it. Yeah. And so, yeah. But you there know, are a lot of people like me that when I go to a city, I'm going to go find boba because I didn't think we had it here. You guys need a here. little sign out there that says boba here oh, yeah. if yeah. we don't have it anywhere think, else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boba is awesome. So yeah. can we see what pho is? Sure. If this is my first pho time. Okay. So basically you got the broth, <laughs> I'm right? I'm a first pho. -er. So the broth is, is, is there heating huh? up the whole day. Yeah. Ah. Okay. It's, it's, it's always hot. Uh -huh. So basically how it's prepared is um, you kind of get the noodle in the bowl, prepare all the meat in there, uh -huh. and then onions, and then you pour the broth in there and just... Yeah. And I hear we have ready. a special guest that's yeah. going to show us some well, stuff. He's basically the manager and co-owner here, all so right. he, he can show you a round of how it's, uh, how it's made. Let's take a look. Are you ready for your big debut, David? <laughs> He's about to be a YouTube star. Should we come around this way? I'd go this way, Tommy. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. No, he already got prepared it. This is for it. He is Ronald ready. Brock. Can you stay close to him? Somebody so yep. here. So you can see yep. the um, the meat there. It's a rare steak. So that's that's the only thing that's rare. The brisket is pre cooked. Meatball is already pre cooked. Uh, all the other meat is pre cooked. So the only thing that's rare is uh, is the uh, uh, top round that we that we cut them up. You know, slice them and prepare, and then basically put onions. Oh wow! Yeah. We like a lot of onions yeah, in the pho. Yeah, who doesn't like a lot and, of onions? Yeah, the pho, the beef flavor goes really well with the onions. And, uh, but not everybody like onion, you sure. know? Sure. Okay, if you, if so you have I, an onion allergy, can you ask for no onion? Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can. A lot of people, uh, you know, they do ask That's for that. That's the magic right there. Oh, uh, look at that. So this is a normal size. When you're coming in, this is what you're expecting that's, to get. That's a small that size. That's a small size? Oh, that's a large. Oh, that's a large. Oh, okay. I'm like, wow, yeah. holy moly. Yeah, you. That's a, that is a serious yeah. meal. <laughs> wow. So then that is cooking, the kind of cooking the meat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As you can see, once you put the broth in, 
The meat is cooked. Yeah, wow. it's, yeah. it went. Yeah. yeah. And is there noodles in that? Did I miss noodles? Yeah, yeah. It's in the bottom. So basically, noodle, you kind of put it in here, oh. and you uh, you drown them in the boiling water here, and it's because it's almost it's like a dehydrated a little bit, uh -huh. uh, cooked. It's also cooked, but you just need to heat it up when you serve. So there you go. What and then what time do you have to get here in the morning, David? Rice. Rice oh, noodles. Oh, oh, great. Yeah, rice noodles. Yeah. Eight or nine in the morning yeah. to, to cut everything up and do. Is everything fresh every day? Yeah. That's it's amazing. Fresh every day. Yeah. We prep every day in the morning and then yeah. throughout the day. And whatever we don't get at the night, it's all gone. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes we have to close early because we ran out. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah, you only can go as much as you cook for that On day. On rainy day, we a lot of time we run out of fun. Oh yeah. And ah. we can't we can't make any more. We basically have to wait for the How day. long do you cook the, the beef broth? Yeah. Yeah. The beef broth is usually twenty four hours. Wow. Yeah, long time. <laughs> wow. So that's why when we run out it's out. Yeah. We, we can't just add water to Yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Well, this is, you guys have a little space. Let's walk back yeah. out this way, but okay. you guys will probably expand pretty fast. Yeah, we're looking to um, another space right now to expand so we could have more on the menu. As you can see uh, here, so on the menu, oh, the Vietnamese sandwich is very popular too. Okay. Oh, what is, okay. what's a Vietnamese sandwich? It's basically, um, it's very crunchy outside and a little bit soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. So, um, but we only put like, um, we only have like uh, very few items in there, but the true Vietnamese sandwich at, you know, other location, uh -huh. they have a lot of different combination. Ah. But for us, we only have honey lemongrass grilled pork, uh, <clears throat> and then uh, egg and tofu, and then honey lemongrass grilled chicken. Those oh. are the only three selection that you can have for your sandwich. Wow. wow. Uh, they got these uh, fresh pickle uh, vegetable in oh, there, nice. cilantro, jalapenos, and then the uh, house-made uh, butter. Wow. That make it good. A lot of people ask extra for that oh. because it's very flavorful, yeah. you know, yeah. yes. tasty. So that's that's another. Sue, Sue Manwaring says yummy. And Cindy Frenchuk, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, says, I love the pho here. Oh, yeah. Cindy's and giving right, a big got endorsement. Some fans in here. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Well, it's yeah. one of those things, probably once you start having it, you're looking for it. <gasps> yeah. Yes. We, let's Go make three bowls for you. Three bowls? Oh! Yeah. We're going to try some fun. This will be my and first time. And this is time. what you add on to it if you look at oh, right this here. Is the, Can you make me a small bowl too, please? I'm, uh, I haven't had fur for a while. I've been working on my house. Oh, and you're like, so, I yeah. Yeah. Sprouts, so, um, lime, and do you add this basil? into your pho? Yep. So when it comes out, we'll, we'll let you know how to prepare your bowl. Uh, the basil here is the Asian basil. It's oh, a little bit different than the. Uh, yeah. They call it basil. Uh, or they call it Thai basil, but. Oh, mm -hmm. um, is everywhere in Asia, so ah. they grow them here now. Mm -hmm. um, you got bean sprout, jalapenos, limes go pretty good. Is a jalapeno too. something that is in Vietnam? No. Oh, I'm like, no. Is that something we that, yeah. we eat like uh, like very spicy. Uh, they call it Thai chili pepper. Oh, right, right. Yeah, they're smaller. Yeah, but they're they. They pack the <laughs> <They're very expensive. laughs> We're not ready for these that are, yet. These, yeah. are, these are weak compared yeah. to Thai yeah. chilies. But they're, they're, good, they're, this. Good. they're yeah. not ready for Thai chilies yet, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. That's awesome. So how did you guys, uh, are you from Idle Falls? How did you? No, we're, we're from Come Seattle. Here. Like I said ah. before, I was yeah. talking yeah. to him. My brother actually lives here. He's, mm -hmm. um, he's probably been here eight, nine years now. Mm -hmm. So a few years ago, he told us to come over and check it out. Yeah. So we came over. Uh, the reason also is the previous owner wanted to go, wanted to retire. So they want to, And you that's know, the expose. owner of Ming's Chinese. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Yeah, so we came over, a little restaurant. Uh, so we say, okay. Uh, we didn't see any pho place here. Mm -hmm. You know, we did yeah. not see any Vietnamese yeah. uh, that have a uh, place here. Well, when after we opened, we actually realized there's other Thai restaurants that serve pho, but it's not the same. Yeah, uh -huh. if, if they know about pho, you know, then they know the authenticity yeah. here is, is, is real. 
Yeah. So speaking yeah. about authenticity, is yeah. this Americanized no. Vietnamese food or? No, this is not Americanized. Uh huh. Yeah, it's uh, it's very authentic. Pure authentic. How? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's awesome. Just how we, and um, yeah, it, it. The only Americanized is we don't serve tribe. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't find yeah. everyone was really yeah. excited about tribe. Right. And Maybe then, we can get that going down the you road. You know, there, there's other few dishes that we um, we make that instead of like making Americanized, we just take out whatever that they don't eat. Yeah. Ah. Like this uh, uh, bún bò huế, which is very popular. That's actually came from our region. Okay. Central. Uh-huh. Uh, you know about Hue, the city in... in yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. So that's a central location and uh, is well known for their beef noodle soup, which is the bún bò huế. Uh-huh. And uh, it does come with uh, pork hock or pork thigh. Nice. Not many people like that. Oh. In the beginning, we did have that. Uh-huh. We, we want to bring out the Because it's a broth, right? Yeah. 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 But huh. then, I've never had it, but I hear it's actually delicious. It's very delicious. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you bite on the skin, you dip in the fish sauce, spicy fish sauce, and you bite on the skin and it's texture. Yeah. 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 You probably don't like it. I, I like it. <laughs> I'd like it, I think. Uh, yeah. Chad is one of those that yeah. he is very adventurous and he, he always got, loves you know, adventurous yeah. things. So, Like when I go to Thailand, I try all the bugs. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to try new things, you know. <laughs> Me too. Me yeah. Too. Yeah. I'm more of the. I'm more of the. I think I'm the, your customer that needs it a little Americanized. Yeah. To wade into the water a little bit, you know. Uh, but yeah. Before she goes all in. Before so. I go all in. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Say. So did we miss anything? Anything we didn't talk about that we should know? Um, anything on the menu? On the menu, well, we have three different main things, okay? So okay. basically the uh, the pho, which mm-hmm. is the beef broth, mm-hmm. and then we also have rice and vermicelli. Vermicelli is kind of like a different textured uh, rice noodle. Oh. So you eat basically fresh also, and so you eat with, uh, we top with vegetable, and then mm-hmm. you top with like uh, whatever the protein that, that you want. We have grilled shrimp, oh. we have honey lemongrass grilled pork, honey lemongrass grilled chicken, uh, we have uh, what else? Uh, the the sausage that we have that come with that too. Uh-huh. So mm. whatever the combination is, vermicelli uh, gluten free, like rice. It is. It's, ah. it's rice noodles also. It just prepared in a different uh, texture because huh? you eat it uh, dry. You don't eat with the broth, ah. so it's a little bit more soft. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. For the fur. Um, for for the pho, it's, you eat it within the broth, so the noodle texture is a little bit tighter. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. So it's just a different way of preparing how, you know. I am super excited about this. Yeah. So, wow, look at that. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. Give better. us our instructions. Yeah. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it yeah. smells so good. So, so good. anytime All you right. go eat pho anywhere. When the fur comes, before you put anything in, grab this spoon okay. and try the broth. Mm-hmm. First, okay. That's how you can tell. Oh. And then you know what you want then to add you, in. Exactly. Yeah. Ah. Exactly. Don't you, make assumptions? You don't flavor it before yeah. you taste okay. it. Okay. Careful, it's hot. So good. Yeah. Ooh, I love the smell of the onions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just super rich. Yes. Oh, and so, wow. Yeah. And then I mean, uh, you can put smell. the basil leaves in there. Okay. Uh, bean sprout in there, kind of crunchy. Oh my kinda, word! Yum. Yeah. Uh huh. Not, so ba- not what it's not a it's not American broth. It is. There's a sweet. Mm-hmm. Something sweet. That's part of his uh, secret sauce. He's yeah. not going to tell you. You're not going to tell me so what that is. All you can say is yeah. All I know is secret, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so secret, it just comes in an un- unmarked bottle. Oh man, that's good. Oh, okay. thank you. Yeah, I know so, why on a rainy day you sell out. Okay, so yeah, we put... Yeah, on the rainy day... Do we just uh, put the whole leaf in? Yeah, or you can mm. break them up. Uh, I normally break Ooh, them up. Oh, they smell good. Yeah. They work better when you break them Yeah. Break them up. Like, yeah. just rip them? Uh-huh. And look, at here's the noodles. Oh. Oh. You want to be holding it uh, Yeah, there's noodle underneath there, yep. Yep. So you stir okay. them up. Okay, all right. And then uh, this hoisin sauce goes well with the broth. Okay. What is hoisin sauce? Uh-huh. Do you know? I don't know what's in there. All right. Soy base, I think. It's a very yeah. popular Asian And then sauce. also sriracha. Um, 
um, need to have a little spicy to it if okay, you I've like. Got my noodle. How do I get my noodles in there? Oh, chopsticks. You gotta eat with chopsticks. Oh you my word! Oh, I'm, um, now I'm. You're gonna make me try to eat chopsticks on camera. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Let me try. I haven't. Oh, delicious! All right, you guys, this is oh. awesome. So good. Very good. So good. Oh, I love that basil. <laughs> Tommy's looking at this. Tommy's you want like, me to hold the camera? No, that's all right. So you guys, this is amazing, amazing. We are, at, again, at Hot Springs Fuck, right downtown on Shoop. Yeah, 376 Shoop. 376 Shoop. Yep. Look at, oh, Chad's a pro. Yeah. Look yeah, at that. So yeah. easy. All right, come and take a look. Again, can, uh, yep. we've got at 11 o'clock uh -huh. to 830. What days of the week? Uh, Monday to Saturday. Monday through Saturday. Yep, we close on Sunday. Can Family they order day. and take out? Of course. Of course, they yes. can call in or can they go on Facebook? How do you guys uh, order? When a lot of people, okay, when, when we order fud, you gotta go back home and cook mm. up the broth again. Because oh. fud meant to eat hot. Hot, yeah. hot, hot. Not, don't bring it home so and then good. just mix them up, it won't taste you it. You wanna make that broth hot yeah. again. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. But okay. they can order take out if they want to? Yes, yes. And stop in and get it? I mean, uh -huh. this is amazing. Dude. Yeah. Amazing. This is, okay. This is hearty. All right. Yeah, so when a couple come in and try, uh, I recommend, like, you know, any new customer, uh, I recommend them to try different things. Maybe the yeah. wife can try the pho and he can try the vermicelli. Mm -hmm. We have one uh, officer that came in here and always eat pho. Mm -hmm. And then, because he didn't know anything else to eat. Mm -hmm. And then, as soon as he, we recommend him the vermicelli, go, wow, that's good. So he come in and yeah, order vermicelli all the time. Ah. So, so you gotta try know, everything. Yeah, Don't get hooked try. on the pho. Exactly. It's delicious. Yeah. Delicious, yeah. All right, you guys, this is amazing. Thank you, Jeff. You're this welcome. Is awesome. Thank you, David. Yeah. In the back, working like a boss. There he is. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, come down and check it out. Awesome. Amazing, awesome. Thank you. Thanks so much, you guys. Again, this is Jessica Carden. And Chad Murdoch. With uh, Murdoch Mandarin Company, your nosy neighbors, keeping you in the in know. The know. <laughs>